Now, before we get properly started with this video, I'm just going to give a small arachnophobia warning. There are creatures in this game that look like spiders, move like spiders, and at some points can be quite a few of them on screen, so just to let you know... Okay, good, let's go. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. And upon hearing those ominous words, you'll be like me and thinking, aye, we'll be, we'll be going to Ravenholm probably sometime in the not too distant future, and you'll see, just a minute, that I was not wrong and neither were you, so yeah. But before all that, you get to go outside, grab a gravity gun, throw a few things around, play fetch with a big robot dog thing, and then get attacked by the Combine, and they're hitting you with these things called scanners, and then these big pod things come down, and they contain the infamous head crab, of which, since the first game, there's a couple more types, and you'll see that, and all. Alright, so hell breaks loose, you try to get back in the build, and it all goes to pot. Alex talks to her dad, who says, Don't go to it, and it cuts out, and you're like, What was I gonna say? I've no idea! Then you run down the corridor and the corridor collapses and Alex's like, Don't get Gordon to go through this fucking place! What, Ravenholm? She knows what Ravenholm's like, right? I would be like, Dog, just dig us out of this wee shite. If he can bust a bulkhead open, he can clear a few rocks, okay? We need the horror bits for these videos to make any kind of sense, so yeah. So you double back and you go up to Ravenholm and then you're greeted by a corpse and then you climb a ladder and we'll let the next bit play out by itself, no. So now you're flung into the dark depths of Ravenholm, and it's quite an eerie sight, isn't it? I mean, when you first start the game, you get that beautiful, eerie, horrible music, the swinging pair of legs by whatever that's dangling for. Maybe it's its ain intestines, but it's like a rope swing only for psychos. And then the dead start coming out round about you. Now, I know zombie, headcrab zombie people are in the game before and after this, but this is their, this is their moment to shine, if you understand. I mean, fucking, this is their moment to scare the bejesus out of you and you'll get to see all the different types of head crabs and different types of head crab infectees. And then you hear ominous voices about the place and you're like, what the fuck is that? Some pellet talking nonsense? And you'll go through another wee room and you'll kill some air head crabs and there'll be another... You will know, speak again and you'll look, who is that guy? He sounds like Max von Sydow. And then you'll continue on and you'll eventually see the guy and he's this mad priest with a shotgun. Priest with a shotgun. Like hobo with a shotgun, only more psychotic, you know? And I'll, I'll let you hear him talk here the now, right? What? Who is this? Another life to save? I'll keep my eye on you. More than that, I cannot promise. Okay, so after meeting Mr. Priesty Boy, you will be wandering the blood-soaked streets of Ravenholm. And this is like zombie apocalypse material, do you know what I mean? Brilliant, the atmosphere, everything, it's just such a great deviation for what the rest of the game's like. Because it's just an action sci-fi game, really, there's no really mad scares here, left, right and centre, do you know what I mean? At this level, and it's just fairly long, it's not like, wow, oh, wow, well, it's like hours long or anything like that, no, it'll take you a wee while to get through it though, just enjoy it, soak up that atmosphere, but it's such a tonal shift, and I love that, and I wish more games would have that, just, even though the fundamentals of the game don't change, gameplay is the same, still first person shooter, you get your gravity gun to play with, but just something new for the game at that point, but generally speaking, it's still just a first person shooter, just feels different, so it adds that variety to your gameplay. There are vehicle sections in Half-Life 2 later on. They're not the best, but they're not the worst. And I think they took that for Halo. Halo popularised it. The, the two work mode it was just thanks for this game doesn't have and the vehicle. It drives the same. You push the left stick forward to accelerate and turn, which I actually think could be a little bit awkward. But it's so it, to free up the buttons that you can fire your guns and whatnot. And you get a wee mounted cannon on the eye. Uh, anyway, fucking raving home, you tit. So you'll be cutting about and you'll you'll eventually run into these new head crabs. They look they look fast and they are fucking annoying. Uh, but they're not as annoying as the black head crab, which can reduce your power level of your suit down to zero in one hit and then you can just get bumped dead at you. Fucking deep toast. 
and it's like all oh, this it's like oh well, there's toxins present in your bloodstream administering some morphine you tell me this suit administers morphine at will that's brilliant I'd go through the whole game stoned out the tree flying to the combine you're like I wouldn't even need a fucking ship you just like a bullet that'd be great you're like oh I've stoned out my tree I mean is Gordon Freeman actually fighting aliens or is he just in the suburbs beating up homeless people because that's kind of what it looks like at this point. He's now chock full of morphine. I don't know if he's just seen me green men and me bed crabs here, there and everywhere. And he's just knocking fuck out the local hobos. The local random homeless scientists. Because, well, don't really need them anymore, do we? Because the whole world's been to shit. Anyway, eventually the priest guy, who is called Grigori, I think. So, he's like Russian, maybe Polish, I'm not sure. He eventually slings you a shot then. And you're like, thanks pal. Bro, this thing's got an alternate fire where it'll fire a couple shots at a time. Or you can just fire like an old shotgun. And then you reload it. It's simple. It's a shotgun. It's a staple of 99% first person shooters. They should all have shotguns. If they don't, failure. You failed. You're toast. You're dead to me, game. Right, and you'll eventually get to top of this build and he'll lead you through the city a bit more. And they'll send over this wee kirt thing, and you jump in the kirt, you go over to the church, and he's like, Alright, son, it's happening, let's get out of here, moan, let's get you back to normality, shall we? And you're like, cool, no bother. Then you go through the cemetery, blowing up crab zombie jobbies left and fucking right, and he'll eventually get to a gate, and he has to hold open, and he's like, I'll kind of hold this open and send you out, so... You're going to have to go and I'll stay behind and I'm like, oh, hey, okay, well, the cinder blocks here, why don't you just pack a few of them next day and... What? Aye, okay. So you go through and you're like, you see him getting surrounded by fire and dead crab zombies and you're like, go, cool, right, I'm off. See you later, nice one, nice one, toasty boy. Thanks for the shotgun, yeah, daft bastard. And then you come to another mine shaft thing. It's a pain in the arse to navigate. I kept fucking falling because the physics can be a wee bit squiffy. And so I just kept bouncing off of shit and dying, falling straight to my death. Then when you get down there, you look, there's millions of these fucking head crabs, and I'm like, no! And this is one of the other parts I was talking about with that warning at the start of the video. You, you're cutting about and you can see them scuttling, and there's fucking hundreds of them. So my thing here is I get the magnum, or the pistol, one of the two, and I just snipe as many as I can, and I use the explosive barrels as the traps, and you, you'll not kill all of them. There'll be at least one or two kicking about, and then you can jump over the fence at the far end, and then more of them will just spawn out of fucking nowhere. And then you need to go through caverns, avoiding more head crabs, avoiding those fucking big tongue thing. I can't even remember the, the barnacles. Ah, you need to avoid them. I think there's only one or two right enough. And then you'll get to the the mine shaft, and there'll be this um, mine cart with a with a spinny thing in it, and you press the B button, and or it's a lever actually. And then this thing will shoot up and down, and you got to avoid it whilst watching it chop head crab zombies to fucking pieces. It's lovely. I like that bit of the game because you can save a lot of ammo. Don't need to shoot them, you just hit them with a minecart and they'll explode. And then you escape, and then you're back to a part of City 17, and this is where our journey will end, for the time being anyway. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you haven't, aye, okay. If you have, smashing. Adios.